December 5th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Proverbs chapter 2 from the Old Testament. My child, if you receive my words and store up my commands within you, by making your ear attentive to wisdom and by turning your heart to understanding, indeed, if you call out for discernment, raise your voice for understanding, if you seek it like silver and search for it like a hidden treasure, then you will understand how to fear the Lord and you will discover knowledge about God. For the Lord gives wisdom and from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He stores up effective counsel for the upright and is like a shield for those who live with integrity. To guard the paths of the righteous and to protect the way of his pious ones. Then you will understand righteousness and justice and equity every good way. For wisdom will enter your heart and moral knowledge will be attractive to you. Discretion will protect you. Understanding will guard you to deliver you from the way of the wicked, from those speaking perversity, who leave the upright paths to walk on the dark ways, who delight in doing evil. They rejoice in perverse evil, whose paths are morally crooked and who are devious in their ways to deliver you from the adulteress, from the sexually loose woman who speaks flattering words, who leaves the husband from her younger days and forgets her marriage covenant made before God. For her house sinks down to death and her past lead to the place of the departed spirits. None who go into her will return, nor will they reach the pass of life. So you will walk in the way of good people and will keep on the pass of the righteous. For the upright will reside in the land, and those with integrity will remain in it. But the wicked will be removed from the land, and the treacherous will be torn away from it. God, wisdom is talked about a lot in our culture. Um, How do you acquire wisdom? What you should do with wisdom? People who are wise, people who aren't wise. But it all seems to kind of originate from this thought process process that we acquire wisdom. We acquire wisdom we acquire wisdom from reading, from learning, from situations, uh, from practicing things. It is a personal acquisition according to the world. I find it incredibly fascinating that if you truly understand the proverbs in the Bible and what you are saying in them, wisdom is not about us. Wisdom is actually another one of those multitude of blessings that you give us that we so don't deserve. And you give us wisdom. And here's the really cool part is uh, right around verse 11, uh, you talk about discretion will protect you, understanding will guard you, that you actually watch over us by the wisdom and the understanding that you give us. Okay, that's kind of crazy awesome. <laughs> that in just like a parent would in order to protect their child, they give them wisdom, common sense. You also instill in our hearts wisdom. And according to chapter two in Proverbs, you do it for three main reasons. Uh, to deliver us from deception by people who are evil Um, to deliver us from being flattered into unfaithfulness and to walk in a way that is true and good. And I thought about this a lot, about the three reasons why you give us wisdom, besides the fact that it allows you to show us just how much you love us and how much you care about us. But I was thinking about the first one, delivers us from deception of those who are evil. And this has happened a few times in my life. The most recent one was just about a year and a half ago or so. When someone came into my life intentionally to deceive me, uh, I didn't obviously know it at the time. Uh, They came in uh, with all the charms of a con man could possibly have. Probably one of the best con man I've I've ever met (laughs) in my in my lifetime. Uh, and that includes the time when I was a cop. Um, he was really good at what he did. And his intention was to deceive me to get what he wanted. And there was a plethora of things on his list that he wanted. I still remember that night that you so clearly gave me wisdom 
to see what was what was honestly happening with that person I was about to lose a lot of things to this person and you so clearly came in and gave me that wisdom to watch over me to stop me from being deceived by someone who was doing evil and then I think what was even more miraculous is then you gave me the strength to deal with the aftermath of all of those feelings and all those emotions and then the craziest part was not only did you make everything good but you made it way better afterwards I don't know what's happening with you and that person but for you and I my relationship with you deepened I there was nothing I could do except for completely rely on you 24 7 trusting you 24 um, 7 and I I very much learned how to do that <laughs> during that time but I thought that was just incredible when I was studying Proverbs and came across one of the reasons you give us wisdom is to deliver us from that deception at exactly the time that we need it now I realize there's been times when you've given me wisdom to stop me from being deceived uh, to keep me on a path that was true and good and I chose to ignore that wisdom and thus as we continue reading Proverbs that definitely makes me the fool um, in that process God thank you for loving us so much that you are willing throughout our life to help teach us how to build up our character how to gain better understanding of what it is that you want for us and then on top of it provide us wisdom to protect us from evil and to do good uh, to protect us from going off of the path of what you want for us in our life one of my uh, favorite quotes about wisdom actually comes from Socrates and he says wisdom begins in wonder God allow us to humble ourselves before you today in delight and wonder at the plethora of gifts that you just continually give us to have a better and better and li better life God please forgive us for us continuing to choose our desires over yours our second class or even 17th class choices for our life over over the path that you want for us that is so much better allow this day to be filled with wonder at all the multitudes of gifts love compassion grace and mercy that you give us thank you god in your son's name i pray amen